Okay, so that's the trying God here there, and that establishes it. We also was a African American preacher who said the same thing. Well, basically, he said triune, right? It is a triune. It's real, okay? Because we are three part. God, according to scriptures, is three part. Okay, the Son, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And he's basically going on about the Trinity, right? Not this, okay? And he says man is also made in that image, so he's triune as well, but in that different sense, you know, physically. Yeah, he's got a mind, uh, conscience, he's got a spirit, soul, he's got a, it's all encased in a body. Yeah, evidence. So we thought, well, how can a person not understand that? If we can understand it, surely they can understand it. But it's probably ignorance, pride, whatever, you know. Just, no, 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 no I don't want to believe anything you say, yeah. Because my Bible says, it's like, oh my gosh, you, you, we're trying to help you guys, you know. That's what the Bible says, for correction, for reproof, okay? To bring you back into the fold, to, to reveal to you the truth of what the Scripture actually says. Because if you're teaching another one, a different version, right? Because you're, if you're misunderstanding, taking it out of context or whatever, okay? It's nonsense, it's nonsensical, it's not the gospel of the twelve disciples of Christ, of, of the Apostle. That's what Apostle Paul said, okay? Yeah? If they teach another one, not the one that we've taught you, don't have nothing to do with them, you know. You can pray for them, all that sort of stuff, and hope that they you know, wake up and realise that what you've been telling them. You know, because we're not trying to do it, we're aiming not to try and do it through our own esteem, right? Okay, there is the text there, we explain it, you know, just to explain it, but hopefully behind us there's the Holy Spirit. We'll pray for the Holy Spirit to give us that insight, right? To give us that power, not for us to talk and convert, okay, or convince, but that power of the Holy Spirit to do that, okay. But you have to have, you have to be right with God, the Spirit, you know, all that sort of stuff. You have to be right with God, Christ, you know, to get that, probably to get that power, okay, that happening, right? Because if you're just a blah blah blah, you you got to have tassels on the end of your shoes, uh, on the end of your nose. Uh, you got to wash your hands, you got to do this. It's all technical. There's no power in it. Yeah? The different power is those commands, those ethics, morals, principles, commands, uh, what did you just say that? Louis? The laws and all that sort of stuff. Okay? It's not in, oh, I, I'm, I'm African and we're the original Jews and all this sort of stuff. That's technical. That's man trying to establish, oh, I'm better than you. Okay, because I'm supposedly with no evidence, right? When you got your scriptures, it says there's no distinction between Jews, Gentiles, black, white, yellow, red, green. You know, if you're all under Christ, you all accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, etc., etc. You're all spiritual Jews. There's a difference. Okay, it's not of the physical, of the flesh. We've got to go for all these traditions. Get snippety snip here and snippety snip there. All that sort of stuff. You know? The morals, the ethics of the Mosaic laws, yeah, sure. The commands. Be a follower of that. Try to keep those. But if you break one of them, you're guilty of breaking all of them. Yeah, there's different things in places in place. Yeah. That nullify that. Yeah. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's basic human sense, right? Common sense. Yeah, obey the law. Yeah, don't do this, don't do that. Jeez, you know, be honest. Then you won't be in trouble, right? Yeah. You won't get into trouble with the law and all that sort of stuff. It's just basics. Why don't people understand it? Why can't they see it? If we can see it, surely you can see it, right? Okay. As, as you said, we're not trying to do it all in our own esteem. Okay. We're trying to do it through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Because the power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit is the one that's supposed to be your first counselor, teacher, correct you, convicts you, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's your, that's your soul guide, isn't it? S O L E. Or yeah, S O U L, if you want to put it that way. For sure. Okay, so this is all about us. Okay, we have to stress this because people keep coming at us and saying, "Oh, you are this, you are that. We're this, we're that. We're better." All this sort of stuff, right? It's like, okay, we'll let that pass. We'll pray for you for yeah. We forgive you for that claim, that false accusation, whatever, whatever, whatever like that, right? Okay. So, yeah, because we work of a Christian denomination and all that baffled confused like everybody else out there on the point of giving up and then we let's say miraculously came across this 
website va.com which is now down and we, we we found a way to revive it and that's what we bring to all of our videos of our channel right and we went through that and it's like wow after we like read most of it you know absorbed most of it since 2019 whatever we realized we're not confused anymore we're not baffled okay the question we had and others had we did adam it is adam eve uh, Cain and Abel, Cain kills Abel, there's nobody else meeting, no other children being born, whatever. The Bible's not saying that, right? And then Cain gets banished from the presence of God, he goes into this other land, and he's, but before he goes, he says, okay, God, it's bad enough that I'm being cast out of your presence, but if, you know, I killed my brother, but being cast out of your presence um, is, is worse, and now I've got to go into this land, which is even worse, of wandering, being nomad, and everybody finds me, they'll kill me. It's like, eh? Eh? That can't be right. Christians that keep telling us, oh, there's only Adam and Eve. Cain and Abel. Cain kills Abel. Nobody else. It's in the Bible. Where did he get his woman from? Oh, they'll come up with something like, oh, uh, 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 the Gnostic book says uh, uh, when they were born, uh, there was two girls attached to their legs and uh, Cain was in love with the one on uh, Abel's leg, so he took him around the corner and killed him. To possess you, all this sort of crap, you know, and then incest, all that sort of rubbish, right? Where it's common sense says, look at, the, look at, look at what it's saying. It's saying Adam and Eve, right? Well, sorry, Cain, Cain kills Abel, then he's in the front of God having a conversation, right? And he's like freaking out because you know he's going to get sent away from God into this other land. Someone might find him and kill him, right? It's no mention of children being born behind the scenes. Okay, where's the proof for that? Because some people say, oh yeah, it says it here in my book. In my version, it actually doesn't, right? In your modern English translations, right? Until Cain is gone. He's gone into the land of Nod, wandering. And there he finds himself a wife, okay? We've done videos on the pre Adamics that God created in his image, but they're not spiritual, they're animalistic. Translated from the original ancient Brita, the Tab Ashra uh, Aramaic, Ishana Atika Sapraya, into the nearest English equivalent by. The uh, native born Aramaic church later Victor in Alexander or Mesopotamia, Syria, right? Yeah. There are people who actually have been stressing that pre Adamic being, right? But then they got racial overtones, what they called a uh, Christian identity, saying, yeah, pre Adamized. That's what they're talking about. Okay? But they might be twisting it and saying, oh, yeah, there's only us, the white people, or, or whatever people, right? The Aryan race, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But from what we've heard, yeah, pre Adam ones. There was this Adam before Adam, right? Maybe a prototype or something like that. Okay. So, yeah, go to this other land, and there are these beings that already resided there. So he mixes with them, marries one of their women, right? Ends up having children, all that sort of stuff. Starts his line, and the uh, line of Abel is dead, it's gone, right? So while he's wandered off into that land, Adam and Eve get together again Adam and Eve get together again they do the boing boing right good times good times and then um, they have this child a replacement for uh, the son that Cain killed Abel right and his name was um, she, uh, Seth in English right but in the Aramaic she is H-E-H-T which means another and Eve quotes or says you know declares that well God's blessed me with another son to replace the one that Cain killed Abel okay there's these little things like that so we're no longer confused no longer baffled we can read the translation project we can read the scriptures actually and in a footnote to read the translation project and bam it's clear as no confusion no baffling no scratching head going oh yeah but um who was in the film oh okay we'll look in the Gnostic book and, and we'll believe that rubbish uh, about space aliens and all this sort of stuff, you know, all this sort of crap and spread it. It's total rubbish. Okay, if you look at the history of the Gnostics, the Simon Magus or Magus, whatever his name is, that guy who flew and Peter see the guy, you know, <laughs> if it's off the devil were crashing, you know, no more flying, and he fell down, and broke his leg, hit the ground, broke his leg. Okay, he's supposed to be the founder of that Gnostic, uh, those Gnostic scriptures and all that sort of stuff, right? It's all mystic knowledge and all this sort of stuff, and it's basically garbage. It's a twist, okay, on your everyday scriptures. Why do you think it was left out of the canon, right? 
yeah, because they had these wacky ideas. Yeah, if you want to follow it, that's up to you, but yeah, you got to do the research on it, you know, look behind the scenes of these people, who's, who is behind it, like Simon Magus, the founder, apparently, etc, etc, yeah, don't take it at face value, don't take anything at face value, that's so why you've got to go and do the research, do the study, find the, uh, find and establish the facts, the said facts, look at, look for the evidence that proves that it's evident, proves it's self-evident, look at the writers, okay, are they infallible, therefore irrefutable, which would then deem their writings as irrefutable, uh, infallible, irrefutable, okay, you've got to do all these processes, it's not just read it Sunday, believe it Sunday afternoon, right, and then don't believe it on Monday, you know, or, or uh, take it and twist it, you know, pick and choose, cherry pick, make stuff up, incorporate other stuff from other rubbish sources, you know, like this guy saying, oh yeah, Jesus was arrested in the garden for um, uh, the great train robbery and, uh, uh, you know, uh, trafficking drugs and uh, having a child porn ring and all that it was sort of rubbish, right? Where did you get this rubbish from? You know, he said, oh, oh, it's all this pharmaceutical uh, in this Greek translation that I'm translating. All this sort of stuff, right? No one else can translate it but him and all this sort of stuff, but it's all pointing to the Greek, okay? Yeah, sure, all the, all the pharmaceutical stuff the herbs, whatever they used in Greece, Rome, whatever, right? Okay. But then he starts to twist it and say, oh, here in the Bible, um, in the Lady Babylon, it says here, you know, that Jesus was a robber, and all this sort of crap. It's total crap. And then he's at the end going, hail Satan, and all this sort of crap, you know? Come on, man, wake up, you know? This guy's obviously of the devil, you know? If he was of God, would he be saying, hail Satan? Okay. Okay, so we hope that this video is very interesting to you, very informative, and that you get something out of it. We, as you can tell, are very passionate uh, and very staunch when it comes to people commenting us and saying this and that about us, which is not true. Okay, that's why we put those policies in place, etc., etc., as we explained. Okay, it's not always easy to present the truth right okay because sometimes your information is flawed you don't know it because you think this expert is right on the button right because others may suggest he is but then you find out behind the scenes investigative journalism that's another thing we use you find the dirt on this person or oh, do not be a homosexual because the the bible said not to be don't do this don't do that td jakes or whoever right and then you find oh news report td jakes or whoever just he's just an example okay maybe Eddie Bishop wrong okay if you, people are worried about no oh, no T.D. Jakes was lovely okay this, we just use Bishop Eddie Long someone will go oh but he was lovely too oh my gosh okay yeah so behind the scenes he gets caught in a hotel room with a frilly dress on running around you know getting loved by a man um dude you, you've been saying in your church for years and years don't do this don't do that and there you are busted you run film, running around with a little frilly skirt on, acting like a little lady, you know, getting loved by a man. Yeah, uh, hypocrite much? A uh, liar much? You know? And then they tried it, you know, oh, I'm sorry about it, I'm going cover it up. No, it wasn't me. I'm in the video, but no, it wasn't me. <laughs> That's all the stuff, yeah? Be the real deal. It's time to be the real deal. You know? Get on your knees confess your sins, repent, you know, have true regret for it, repent, uh, you don't know all your sins, you know, because you might think, ooh, I didn't realise you thought that, it, it doesn't, it doesn't come back to you and say, and you know, remind you, oh, you said this, you did that, you know, sometimes you're not aware of them, they're like a conscious sin or whatever, however you want to put it, right, so yeah, confess your sins, repent, uh, have true regret, etc, pray for forgiveness, cover, uh, being covered in the blood of the Lamb, uh, empowered by the Holy Spirit, etc etc so they should get that conviction and maybe yeah have that sorrow that regret that maybe cry over it or you know weep over it um go get baptized then repent the second meaning of repent go forth back into the world living your life for god centered on god focused on god and christ and sin no more because if you sin you're not a child of god i think it's james 3 1 or something like that Okay, so we'll end it there, and if you really enjoyed this, if it's a real eye-opener, yeah, it's a sermon. Yeah, we don't do sermons much, but yeah, it's a sermon. Take it to church on Sunday and 
<laughs> Just joking. Um, yeah. Uh, if you liked it, then click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Add your comments below. We'll get back to you on those. Uh, below the video, we'll get back to you on those as soon as we can. And then go share this message, this video, and this message with all your friends, family, and other loved ones, your church friends, your neighbor, uh, someone you might evangelize to on the street. You know? And the message overall is basically stop picking on us. No, <laughs> it's basically, um, you know. This is a better alternative life. Come to Christ. Okay? Etc. etc. Have eternal life. You know, instead of eternal damnation, etc. etc. Okay, know the truth, for that truth will that know the truth for that truth will truly liberate you, emancipate you, or free you. Okay? And who's the truth? What's the truth? It's Christ. Yeah, he's the truth. That's why he said, I am the way, he's the path, he's the means back to God. There is no other, no Buddha, no Hare Krishna, no um wooden statue or Buddha or whatever outside okay uh, he's the way he's the means back to God the only way back or the path uh, he's the truth so all he said is truth okay he's not a liar God forbid he's not a liar he's not a lunatic as uh, C.S. Lewis quoted once upon a time um, and he's the life he can give you that eternal life okay he gave you life that spark of life so he's also the life okay he can give you that eternal life. That free gift of eternal life. Living forever in the kingdom of God with them, him and the Father, and everybody else, the angels, etc., for all eternity. So, do the right thing and click on the like button and then subscribe to our channel. Make sure you do that. It's all important. Uh, and then add your comments below the video. And you go share it with all your family, friends, and others. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, our latest video upload. Just thought we'd do something different. Hopefully, it is. <laughs>